Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am Mr. Photographer. Com. If you're like me, you're probably a lot more proficient editing photos in Lightroom than you are editing video in an application like Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, you've probably been in Lightroom long enough to notice that in the file menu, it says import photos and video. And you thought, I'll just import my videos to Lightroom and edit them there. Well, I imported a video into Lightroom. And I'll go over to the develop module to edit it and I'm greeted with video is not supported in develop. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit videos in Lightroom. Uh, right off the top, let me state that uh, the video processing in Lightroom is very rudimentary and you could do a lot more in Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or any other video editing suite. Uh, what you're going to be doing in Lightroom is stuff that you probably just shot on your phone. You're going to share with friends or maybe a GoPro or something like that. But you can do some editing in Lightroom and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now I have this video that I imported and as I mentioned when I go over to the develop module it's not allowing me to process it. So what you need to do is once you import your video into Lightroom and you import it just like you would a photo, uh, down here at the bottom you notice you have the scrubby controls to play the video and this is a very very short video. So what you want to do is you just want to move the scrubby control uh, to a point in the video that you're going to use as a reference photo. The reference photo is actually what we're going to process. And then we're going to copy the reference photo uh, processing to the video. So I have it at this point, and let's say I like this. So what we'll do is over here towards the right, you'll see that there's this uh, rectangular box. Click on that and click on Capture Frame. And when you do that, Lightroom is going to uh, create an image from that frame and it's right here. So this is a JPEG and here is our video right there. So there's a JPEG uh, capture of that frame that I scrubbed to. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have that active and we're going to go to the develop module and we're going to process it. Now unfortunately not all the processing will be copied over to the video. It's a little bit limited. What will be processed is much of the controls in the basic tab itself. Uh, the profile will get co copied over. So I'm gonna go to the profile browser right away. And I think what I'll do is I'll go to uh, Morganti profiles from December, let's see. And that first one looks pretty good. That second one looks pretty good. Let's go to the second one. So I'm gonna use this profile from my December profiles. And I kinda like that. So I'm going to close the profile browser and then I'm going to go to the white balance that will get copied over as well. And I'm just going to cool it off just a touch. All right. Now I'll go to exposure. I'm going to bring exposure down a little bit. I'm going to push contrast up just a touch. Now highlights and shadows don't get copied over. So you really can't move your highlight. I mean, you could on the JPEG, but it won't get copied over uh, into the video. So try not to adjust those here because you're not going to see those adjustments moved over to the video. But whites and blacks will be uh, moved over. So I'm going to pull the whites down. I'll open up the blacks a little bit. Now texture, clarity, and dehaze, those don't get copied over either. But vibrance and saturation do. So I'm going to move that to the right. Now the tone, give, tone curve gets copied over. So I'm going to add a little medium contrast for that as well. The HSL panel does get copied over. So I'm going to go to the luminance tab of that panel and I'm going to uh, bring yellows up and greens down and I'll go to blue and I'll bring blue down a little bit. And if I did split toning, that would be copied as well. And then that's it. So really in the basic tab, it's uh, the profile, white balance, exposure, contrast, whites and blacks, vibrance and saturation get copied over. In the tone curve, that gets copied over. HSL tab, that gets copied over. Split toning would be copied as well. So I process this image. I know it looks hideous, but this is just an example, all right? So I have it selected. 
And what I'm going to do is now select the video while I'm in the develop module. And to do that, just hold the command key in if you have a Mac or control if you have a PC. So they're both selected. Go over here to the far right panel at the bottom, sync. And now the synchronize setting dialog box pops up and this will show you exactly what's going to be copied. As I mentioned, the treatment and the profile get copied. White balance gets copied. Uh, the basic exposure contrast highlights and shadows do not. White clipping, black clipping, tone curve. The color does saturation, vibrance, and the color adjustments. Split toning would, but I didn't do any split toning. And I didn't do anything in the calibration tab and that would be copied as well. Now I'm going to, in post-production, uh, make this larger down here. So when I click synchronize, you'll see it synchronize right now. And you can see that it got copied over to the video. So we just processed that video in a very roundabout way. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to the library module. I'm going to deselect uh, our image that's the JPEG by holding in the command key and clicking on it. So we just have the video active. And what we'll do now is we'll hit play. And there is our processed video. And that's it. That's how you very basically add some basic processing to a video in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>